Hey, boos. How are you guys? I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day today. Sorry for shaking the camera. I am about to do something different in this video. I love this mini city tote. I love the color of it. I love the graphite, the blue. But I'm trying to see if I can remove this off. So let me just show you the tote. I know you guys have seen it before. This is the back of the tote. This is the bottom of the tote here and then the sides of the tote and this is the other side so i'm gonna see if i can get this off i did try it right here and it did come off a little bit so i was like i'm going to work on this tote for you guys so this is the mini city tote the graphite blue horse and carriage i do love it it Really is a nice bag. When I walked into the coach outlet during the Black Friday, I had to have it. I was like, I just love the color. And I do have some matching accessories for this bag. And I will show you guys at the end of this video. So let me show you what I'm going to use really quick. So I have the nail polish remover here. And I do have some what oval shape cotton pads here and we're going to try to well i'm going to try <laughs> you guys are going to watch i'm going to try to remove this it may take some time because this is new um it's not old so i know sometimes this will peel off that's why i tend to stay away from the louis vuitton printed um what slgs and bags because over time this will scratch and come off but let me show you how I'm going to get this off and I'll be back with um should I wear some gloves I don't know and I got these long nails on I don't know let me just get myself situated here a little bit better and then I'll be back so I have my pad here I'm going to put some of the fingernail polish remover the nail polish remover and I'm just going to work on this side let's see oh I think I put too much guys I think I did. It's kind of like, let me see. It's going to take a minute for the snowflake to come off. Like you have to really scrub, but you don't want to scrub too hard because it will look like it'll take off some of that. Um, the with the print, like the gray a little bit. You don't want it to look a little ashy, so I'm just gonna take that off and see what this work. It came off of the wristlet. I did try it on the, the dark signature with the pink. It did come off, but it just takes a while because it's such a large amount. And you don't want to use acetone because this will mess up your bag. Let me see. Go take it away. Let me do it this way so I can see what I'm doing. I know you guys can still see it. And I got these nails on. I might have to take these nails off real quick. I am back. The nails are off. I left this one on. <laughs> I'll take it off. So I'm going to try this New York. Let me see if you guys can see it. Let me flip it this way. I want to see if this will come off. The snowflake right here, as you guys can see, let me see. The snowflake did come off right here. So let me see. You have to do a lot of scrubbing, but it will come off. And it's a new tote, so you just have to be patient with yourself and, and just go ahead and scrub this stuff off. So let me see. Yeah, it's going to take a minute to get this off. <laughs> so you guys see how I'm scrubbing. And it's going to take a while to just have this come off. And it's a large area too, so I have a ways to go. So I will be back when the New York sign is off. The little New York right here. So the New York is coming off so i still have to scrub some more and then i'll work on just the snowflakes because they're smaller and then worry about this part um a little later because it is you have to put some elbows in this you have to be scrubbing 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 
So, yeah, you just have to go back and forth kind of fast. This is real time and it's looking okay. It might take you like two days to do this or however long you want to be just sitting here. You could just do this while you watch your TV or whatever, listening to music. It'll make the time go by a little quicker. So, yeah, let me finish scrubbing and then I'm going to work on these snowflakes and then I'll be back. All right, guys, so the New York is almost gone, but I decided to take this um, large Q-tip, not Q-tip, um, what is it, toothpick, are the little sticks for the shish, shish kebabs, and then I'm going to just scrape it off, and then it's coming right off, and then I'm going to, as you guys can see, this is what I've done so far. I'm going to just be taking it off and then I'm going to continue to use the nail polish remover here. I did try to use a blow dryer to heat it up, but um, that wasn't really working. But the nail polish remover works. You just have to rub, you know, rub, rub, rub. And I'm just like, oh, it got to be a quicker way. So it is quicker because it doesn't take long to scratch this off real quick. And then you can just take some more um, nail polish remover. Let me apply some on this cotton ball right here. And then you could just go and scrape it off. It's a little bit more easier because you don't lift it up. The um, See, the paint, the blue paint. So I will be back with half of the bag done because I want to get this off. And it doesn't matter what it looks like. It's not damaging the bag. Let me clean it off so you guys can see. You still see the C's on there and everything. You see it? So I'm going to continue to do this and then I will be back. Okay, so the coach is almost gone. The New York is gone as well. You can see it a little bit, but that doesn't bother me because I'm going to fix that. But um, I have the C and the O left, and then I have more on this side. So I'm just going to work down here, and then I'm going to work up. And then I have not been working on this for hours, so this did help just to scratch it off. And I know you can, like, turn this back around on the other side, but you guys are going to see why. I just don't want this to show at all. I am going to keep this same horse and carriage print on the dark uh, signature one with the pink trim because I do want two holiday ones, but this one, I didn't want anything on it. Like, you can just turn it around, but I feel like when I'm in the store, I'll forget what side, and that's going to bother me because this is a very beautiful blue. I have a charm that I like to put on here, and I don't really want to worry about what side I'm going to have this bag on and it doesn't bother me this bag was 90 dollars. i know it is a lot of money but it's great to just experiment to see what you can do and you know if you have the money to you can i had a little extra money so i decided to experiment with my city tote it's like coach why look what you have me doing i have to scrape all of this off when you could have just made some plain ones for us this should have been some plain options also some print options but you know how coach do and if they ever bring it out with this print i i wouldn't grab it because i don't have that on there anyways if they just have this print with the regular dark um well no the graphite signature with probably the black trim i wouldn't reach for it because i have this one and this one i'm going to carry um all year round if I want to. And then I do circular motions. As you can see, it's just going to take you some time. It is tedious. But if you want this bag with no print, this is what you have to do. You have to do this. And this is why I say I stay away from prints because say if you're walking and you happen to scrape up against this. Let's let's do this horse for her. Like you just happen to scrape this bag up against the wall. You see how easy it is that it just came off. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me do it again. Like, look, I do not like prints a lot. That's why a lot of my bags don't have prints. But look, 
if you happen to scrape this bag on something, it'll be a wrap. So you would have had to take this off anyways. You're like, oh my God, my bag. But who knows? But yeah, I would just take it off and that would be that. And eventually this will fade off like the letters because I'm going to, let's see if you can see it a little bit. No, it's just in certain lighting, you can see it. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just moving it around. In certain lighting, you can see. So when I'm finished, I will come back and just show you guys that it shows just in different lighting. But who cares? Because you're going to mainly carry it on this side. It's just for if you happen to accidentally turn on this side, nobody see nothing, you know? And I'm not planning on selling my mini city toes. They are in my collection forever. So especially this one, because I worked hard on it. And I'm going to keep it. So let me continue. All right. So the coach and the New York is all gone. And I'm just going to work on this side. And then I'll show you guys that. Even though you can see the coach a little bit, I'm going to take some of that um, little nail repolish remover. And I'm just going to try to get that in a little deeper. But I love it so far. It is all gone. So let me finish working on this. And I just want to give you guys a quick update because I know you guys are going to be like um we didn't see everything but yeah you could see like the imprint a little bit but that doesn't bother me like I said I just want this to just be plain so if I'm in the store I'm flipping it on this side and I can also carry it on this side without any of that writing on there and I'm going to put some leather conditioner and canvas cleaner and all this stuff on this bag and then I'll be able to carry it. This is what I have left and it took me about an hour and 10 minutes for just all of this. I've been cleaning it real good and I'm gonna condition this and so the canvas doesn't look dry but I think it looks good so far and I'm just have this part left so the snowflakes, I'm just going to show you how I get the snowflakes off really quick because those are easy to do. So I'm going to start with this one right here. Is, can you guys see that one? Okay. So I just lightly scrape it. You don't want to scrape too hard, but, you know, you just have to get that off. And it's better to get the long, uh, what is it, the little sticks. What are these called, guys? You guys know I forget everything. The shish kebab sticks. I have a really long one and it's easy to work with that one. Do not make the mistake using the pointy one because that's what I did. And that's why you see some scratches, but it's not bad at all. Um, I can't fix that. Over time, it will just, you know, wear off. But use this part of it. That's what I did. I just took it off. It may be an easier way to do this. You can scrub. Look at all this. You can scrub a lot but that's gonna take forever and I was like I don't have time and this tote I bought specifically just to do this to experiment and I am happy with it um, some people may not want to do this or they might feel like oh you messed the bag up but I don't because I feel like I'm going to carry it on the op opposite side or maybe this side it doesn't matter I just want this to be off I just wanted a plain city, a plain mini city tote, and that's what I wanted. So you can do this however you want to. If there's a better way, you can. If there, you see how it doesn't even really show, like when you just take it off. So you just do what you feel is best for you and your handbags, your life. You know, can nobody tell you what to do? This is what I wanted to do. So this is it. And it's actually fun. My son draws. I used to draw and stuff and be creative, but I haven't designed anything in a long time. I don't know. I just don't do it anymore. I used to put patches and stuff on bags, but I don't know. This is making me want to design my own bag. All right. So, yeah, that's the snowflake. It's gone. Let me just put some of this rubbing alcohol. I mean, not alcohol, the um, nail remover on here. And I just go in a circle of motions. I take it off of everything. And that is it. 
so the logo is completely off this is this side this is the other side and i love it i love that the logo is gone i wish coach gave us this option right but you can still see it a little bit but once you um um carry it it will eventually fade away um you can put more alcohol and nail what polish remover and get this off but this is it this is the finished results i will take you guys outside so you can see it but i do love it i love it i love it i love it so let's go outside so you guys can see it real quick and then i'll show you guys my accessories and what inspired me to just take this off this is the city tote yes i got everything off i'm showing you guys in my backyard but look right here i just have to work on this spot and this spot but i don't have time i just want to show you guys what it looks like outside it looks amazing so let me take you in the inside so you can see the accessories and what inspired me to take off the horse and carriage print on this beautiful mini city tote here okay here she is she's all finished i did put the tag on the back this is the side I worked on. I just have to finish this side and this side right there. And this will be perfect for me. I just wanted to show you guys that. I wanted to be able to carry this bag and sit it any way I want to without having to worry about the horse and carriage. So I did talk to a few of my friends. I was like, I want to take that off. I want to know if you can take it off, which you can. It's not the best, but it will be the best once you carry it. And then you're going to get some more alcohol and do all that but i just had to cut it short because you know it's a video and i'm about to do something else and i need to give this a break but i am going to carry this out <laughs> it doesn't bother me at all so this is it what inspired me to do this even more is when i got home and i had my charm i had this charm for years and i love it so let me just put it on the bag i might have to get one of those small little silver rings but this is it so cute and i end up getting the wristlet as well you guys already know so i got that that's what inspired me and then i have this here it doesn't really match but it's part of what the blue family so it's okay so i do have this card holder i could put that in the city tote you also can do denim i think the denim looks nice as well even though it's gold but that's cute Tell me what you guys think down in the comments. And if you have this bear charm, I can't remember when they came out with this, but I do have the silver one. And I think this is cute. So I will have to put this one on here. I'm going to give me one of those silver rings so I can attach my charms because the handles on the mini city tote is smaller, you know, than the um, big one. But yeah, that is what inspired me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is the back again. I just have a few touches and it's perfect. <laughs> so that is it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you already know what to do. Leave a nice, wonderful comment and I hope everyone has a beautiful night and a wonderful tomorrow.